Am I live? I am. Hello, everybody. It's me, the Italian Gamer Joe, and welcome to a new stream of um, Nancy Drew, The Haunting of Castle Malloy. Uh, I'm just really quickly getting started. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Okay. Um, before I do anything else, I'm just really quickly getting my stream set up so that I can um, share it amongst my community. So just hang tight for one second as I do that. Um, self promo. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Um, come play a new Nancy Drew mystery with me. The haunting of Castle Malloy. Paste, and then let me just. At everyone. Perfect. Yay. Okay. So um here we go. Um for those of you that are um, returning from my previous streams, welcome and to the Italian Gamer Joe. Tonight we are starting a new Nancy Drew mystery, which is the haunting of Castle Malloy. Uh, this one is an Irish mystery. It takes place in Ireland. Hey, uh, Triple Sun Dog, how's it going? Hope you're hope you've been well. Let's read the case file. When Kyler Mallory called me from her home in London and asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little reluctant. After all, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding is going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations, which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, rent a car, and meet Kyler at Castle Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means. And unfortunately, by the time I get there, it'll be night. But I've never been to Ireland before, and I've never even seen a real honest-to-goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. And you know me, whenever the question is, who wants to go on an adventure? My answer is always, I do. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not. My answer is always, I do. It's so, <laughs> I do. Uh, let's see, Godric. Hey, how's it going, Godric? Triple Sundog. Oh, good. New chores. Yas. Mike, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, tonight we are starting a new Nancy Drew mystery. It's Nancy Drew and the Haunting of Castle Malloy. Hey, Candy Girl. By the way, congrats to Candy Girl for completing all the Sea of Thieves chapter commendations. You're a true pirate. Arr. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this is the new Nancy Drew mystery. We are in the process of going to Ireland to uh, to uh, help remember the Maid of Honor. So we're going to do a bunch of Maid of Honor duties, whatever those are. Kyler Teagan Mallory of London and Matthew William Simons of London request your presence to witness their exchange of matrimonial vows on the 1st of June at 1 o'clock. Location is Castle Malloy, Baylor, Ireland. Ooh... Ooh. All right, let's jump right in. What are the color point boosts? So, Godric, um, if you go to my Discord community and you take the po you take a there's a quiz you can take and it'll tell you which Hunger Games zone you're in and then you can like redeem color point boosts so your for your was zone. On time, your luggage arrived. And your then, rental car was waiting. Everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Nancy is going fast. <laughs> Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely Nancy, you're no gonna be getting a ticket for that later. And <laughs> I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you, I don't even see the gates. Right. Take care, Nancy. <laughs> okay, well, Nancy almost died. Good job, Nancy, for um, that? for almost dying. Good job, good job. But yeah, so um, Godric, if you take my quiz, you can place yourself in a Hunger Games uh, zone, and then you can join my teams. 
and the, the team with the most points at the end of each month will get a special like commendation or a prize. So uh, feel free to check it out. Hey Des, welcome to the stream. We are Irish now. We are in Ireland. Thanks, Candy Girl, for also posting it. Carlos Sevilla Simp, let's go. What's up? Welcome. Um, wrong account. BRB. Des, was that a Velociraptor? I know, right? McNorthern with the dog. Welcome everybody to the stream. So here's Nancy's car. It's destroyed. You know, she's she, she's gonna need more than Geico to get out of this one. <laughs> Geico, um, excuse me. My car is in a ditch, and uh, it's totaled, and, um, well, I, uh, does, does Banshee flying across the car count for my insurance? Uh, oh, it doesn't? I'm gonna have to pay for the whole thing? Are, are you sure about that? Because, um, I saw it. It was a Banshee. It, it, it just flew across the car. I'm gonna have to pay more for the rental now? Oh, jeez. <laughs> If I can track down the Banshee, will that help? <laughs> okay, so my case is to track down what just caused my car before I pay the $600 deposit to fix the car and the extra th couple thousand to fix it. Okay, thank you. So apparently Nancy has a new case now. She's going to track down the Banshee that just destroyed her car so she doesn't have to pay the deposit. <laughs> That's the new case here. <laughs> We're going to track down this fucking Banshee. Alright, let's just go right in. Let's uh, go to the gates and see what happens. Nancy Drew and the <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nancy Drew and the car insurance claim <laughs> brought to you by Geico. Save no money on car insurance if a banshee runs in front of your car. <laughs> Please don't call us about it. <laughs> Look at this doll. What the hell? It's creepy. Imagine if the sheep had a voice and it was just like, <laughs> Don't mom me, just walk by. <laughs> Bye. I'm having way too much fun with this. Ooh, look, it's a slider puzzle. <laughs> Northern with the whole, like, uh, pirate stuff. All right, well, I'm not ready to solve this puzzle yet because I just don't feel like it. So we're going to come back to that later. Uh, but yeah, this is the gates to Castle Malloy. The beautiful Photoshop graphics. This Nancy Drew game is third person. I don't know why they decided to do third person. I, I wish they would have just gone with the full like. And Nancy doesn't even have footsteps. Like you would think they would give like her footsteps where you can hear her crawl like going up and down. But nope, they don't do that at all. Ugh, I, it just pisses me off. Like this could have been a more scary game. I mean, it is, like, creepy. I mean, we're in the middle of the night, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. But this is the castle. Hey, Mitra. And then if you go over here... Like, yeah, I know. We're, we're totally... We can't... The whole, like, you can't go anywhere. It's too dark. So, let's just... Let's just knock on the door and see if we can... Go inside. <laughs> Jeez. Oh! I, um, um, um it's like, um, I'm, I'm here Drew. from Tycho. I'm here for the wedding. Oh, okay, the wedding has been called off. So go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please. Nancy's My car's like, in the ditch I'm by the, the police. Gate. I can't <laughs> go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn there. On Star Island. Give me your keys yeah. and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. <laughs> no, wait, I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. Please, can I come in just for a minute? <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Hello? Nancy's like, you know, you know what? Do you want to pay my $600 car insurance claim? I think it'll be a few extra thousand. <laughs> you better let me in, or I swear to God. I'm going to say that you are the blame for it. Damn it. <laughs> Mike, meet in my grinder dates. <laughs> oh, I see a shadow in the mirror. Look at the shadow in the window right there. There's somebody up there. I'll bet it's Kyler. <laughs> and she's like, you know, I bet it's her. I bet that's the fucking banshee. I like how um, <laughs> you could put, you could throw, you could cause, you could throw a hole and cause a hole to hit it if I do it like this. <laughs> Nancy's gonna hit Kyler in the face, give her brain damage. Nancy, oh! Uh, oh. 
Oopsie. <laughs> Shadow at the castle's edge. <laughs> Imagine if we like only oh, you could see the you could see the you could see the the, the freaking like hole we hit. Offer the gatekeeper some fresh mashed potatoes. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. I like how you could still see the hole in the window. Like that is just classic right there. Hope they bundled their castle and auto chair to progressive. Yeah, so much for Geico. Mashed taters. Mm. Deaf are you now? I told you you cannot be staying here. Oh, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew. Nancy's like, Let her in. old man, you like some, uh, you like some, how about I just romance you later? Matt's <laughs> it's not the first time. It won't be the last. How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? Cold feet. He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand. Oh, girl. Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. Girl, this is not a prank. <laughs> Girl, I think you in denial. I think he's off back to London. I uh, I saw a plane ticket back on the street over there. I hate to break it to you, but I don't know. I think the pr I don't think this is a prank. I think maybe he set it up as a prank, but you know, I don't think he's here anymore. I think he's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> he's an old dad. Uh, he disappeared as a prank? You Nancy's mean, like, the wedding hasn't, the been, wedding called hasn't been called off? Absolutely not. He'll show up. Girl, you got, we got a, I don't know about aisle, this. But he'll show, <laughs> saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. Yeah, the wedding that, a cold, the ultimate prank wedding with of cold feet. Ugh, can you imagine Nancy gaslighting Kyler and then stealing Matt for herself? Oh my god. Yeah, like, 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 like Kyler, you know... Girl, he's gone. He's gone. You're just gonna have to stay there here and just cry it out. And then meanwhile, Nancy goes back to London. <laughs> hey, Matt. <laughs> I hear you're still single, huh? I got a prank for you. So you're here by yourself now? <laughs> why did that meet? Why did that old man at the door tell me the wedding was off? Yeah. Why did, why that did man he at the say door that? Tell me the wedding was off. That was the caretaker. Donald Delaney. Donald Not Delaney. Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's what an the interesting way you're supposed script. to spell it. Which is to say, that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. Which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Damn. Now, he rather likes me, but that's Damn. only because he considers me to it's be throwing the Irish, pot over here. Since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. Does when he it like comes Americans? To my fiance, Donald detests him, which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, "If I am to be married okay, but in Castle Malone, Kyler... it simply must be to an Irishman." Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people. But, but Kyler, he calls them. does he like McDonald's? McD McDonald's? <laughs> does he like the McDonald's? You know, um. Big Mac and French fries? Does he like American? You know he doesn't like British, but does he like McDonnell? That's his name, Donnell Delaney. Um, you sure the wedding shouldn't be at least postponed? I wish Nancy there was an option for just Nancy being like, "Girl, he's gone. Let's just let's just leave this castle. Case closed. I gotta call Geico." Can you pay me the six hundred dollars? You sure the wedding shouldn't <laughs> deposit be postponed? I'm telling you, he'll shut. <gasps> oh no! What happened? Did the game just like crash on me? Oh my god! The game crashed on me, and I didn't save. <gasps> Hi, I'm Nancy. Did Drew. the game give me a second chance at least? Oh my god! This is my that is messed up. My game crashed on me. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god! So your plane was on time. I can't believe the game crashed on me. Waiting. Everything went without a hitch. Yep, and according to that... Kyle's directions, I'm within two kilometers oh of Castle Oh my god! Roy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it? Matt's there? ultimate Around prank. Two, the party just started. It's gonna go all day. So <laughs> Not having a second insurance <laughs> claim. Driving? All right, well. Yes, Ned, Here I'm we are. Back. Driving, We're back at Castle okay. Malloy. I'm gonna make no sure I save traffic. my game this time. And I see the gates. This is I just Geico go. trying to Say squeeze to money out of you. Yeah, right? The Banshee stops in front of the car. Yeah, right. I'm here to, at, to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, no. Well, here we go again. We're back 
<laughs> Geico, hey Geico. What was um, that? So I have to talk to you about my car. Um, so you're not gonna believe this. Oh my god, I have the craziest story. So remember that first car that I broke? Well, you know, um, I paid. I pay. You know, we we have the, that claim is still on pending. Um, in the meantime, I took another car to the castle, and well, you wouldn't believe this. The oh, how can I break it to you? That that banshee I told you about it ran in front of the car again. And um, is this is that covered? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's now a twelve hundred dollar deposit that I have to. Oh, nice to pay now. Oh, okay, so the rates went up. Well, I'm going to file a complaint now. Um, I'd like to speak to your manager, please. Oh, I'm, you're going to put me on hold? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to find this fucking banshee and make sure she pays every ounce of this $1,200 claim. <laughs> oh, no, a flying leprechaun. <laughs> she can avoid the accident. Wait, what happened? Meet Road, the game crashed. All right, well, here we are. We're back. At Castle Malloy. <laughs> does Flo cover time travel insurance? I hope she does. <laughs> she could have avoided it. We went. I guess Nancy wasn't paying attention. Here we go with the sheep. The sheep's like, bye. Alright, let's go back in. I can't believe it. Alright, let's just jump right in. Nancy's like, this all seems vaguely familiar to me. This freaking banshee, you know, I have to pay $1,200 now. I have to go give Denal Delaney, you know, my hamburgers. My hamburgers bring all the old men to the yard. It would be in euros. Yeah, I guess it would be, huh? But the currency exchange rate. Oh, she was busy I, thinking about uh, Ned. Um, hello, um, I'm Nancy Drew. I'm we here don't know each other yet, but I know you. So go on back no, to where you, you come from. I'm no, just imagining wait, Nancy being My like, car's in the ditch by the gate. No. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> she puts her foot in front of the door. The inn, then. Give me your keys and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Nancy's Kyler? Nancy's like, you're going to talk to me. No, wait. I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. Please. No. Nope. Can I come in just for a minute? Hello? <laughs> Are you there? Hello? Wait, Mike, if you're still in the chat, did you say that you're the type of person that stands out your outside your grinder dates and you're like, wait, wait, can I come in for just a minute, please? <laughs> and then your grinder dates are just like, no, I'm sleeping. And you're like, please? <laughs> There's somebody up there. I'll bet it's Kyla. Show us Kit, please. Yeah, you know what? And Kit is inside and he, you know, Kit could have said something, but he didn't. Kit doesn't give a shit. He's like, you know what? I'm... You know, I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna help Nancy. All right, let's do it the right way this time. We're not gonna put a hole in it. I can't throw rocks for shit. Oh my god, I'm horrible at this. Okay, that's one. That's gonna break the. That's gonna break the window. <laughs> what if like I hit the banshee as it's flying by? <laughs> Yes, we got it. Okay, we did it right this time. <sighs> Maybe the gatekeeper is hot now. Who knows? Maybe he is. Alright, here we go. As I look at my Nancy Drew trading cards. Yes, are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying Do I here. have any Castle Malloy ones? Denal's kid is... What's her name again? Kyler? Kyler's like... Denal, stop it. Matt I've had enough of you. Appeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? I don't have any Malloy cards. He hasn't disappeared for good. Yep, no you Malloy have to cards. Understand. Matt's Darn a bit it. of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. He disappeared as a prank? He adores getting people in a tizzy. I do think he's pushing the on You know what? This I've decided that this Nancy but Drew game is really up. just the hangover. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show. This this game is this basically just no the hangover Nancy Drew edition. <laughs> That's all this game is. Um, Princess Fiona. <laughs> she kind of does look like Princess Fiona a little bit. Um, so you're here by all yourself by yourself, now? and you're Actually, lonesome. Matt's best friend Kit Foley is here too. He says oh. we're caught in the great hall downstairs. Interesting. Let's go talk to this Kit. Fo is he single? 
Is he from London or from the States? Is he from London too? He lives in London now, yes, but both his parents Ooh, are Irish. Ooh, he's a little Irish guy, huh? Sexy. We got ourselves a little Irish guy. That's the man you met at the door. Denial All right, Delaney, well, uh, the caretaker. If you don't, Donald, <laughs> mind you. There's no well, D good luck with your so situation, Kyler. But that's I think we're gonna go cuddle up with uh, Kit just downstairs. Just the Irish spell it. Don't feel. Don't worry about introducing us. We'll just Indeed. figure it out. It's Trek in an alternate universe, according to Northern. Wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for, for the British. British. Now he rather likes me, but that's only because he considers me to be. He likes me, me because Since I'm well, related to the man you know. who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiance, Donal detests him, which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He, he wants right it to be said, off. If I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people or whatever he. The fairy people, whoever he calls them, the fairy people. Um. Do you have any idea where Matt disappeared to? No, but I know he didn't go far. All right, here's the game the glitched. The fact is, sometimes I hear. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you know his voice. It's Girl, I think you need to go muffled, to some therapy for that. It sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out, teasing me the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the mm, wedding. I don't know, Kyler. I think you're just in course, denial. I remember well your penchant for solving He like you because you're an so English you hooker and y'all do. Oh well, my God, you. glorious! You could start in the nursery. You're it's intense the here. That's, That's intense, where Matt girl. Was, caught and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. Yeah, the lesson of paying my $1,200 car insurance claim, Kyler, since you're not paying, paying a penny of it. I swear, if I find him, I am going to make him give me his fucking credit card. That's going to be my gift for being your maid of honor. Um. Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. <laughs> Are you all right? Me. I'm, I'm fine, but my I car isn't. My cell phone? Uh, not so good. Wait, yeah, her cell phone I'm too? Sure I oh my god. Drop this. Nancy's going to have to call Verizon. Looks like some kind of homemade. Oh my god, we're going to have to get on the phone with Verizon after like this that. conversation and with that's Kyler. His ring. What did the person who dropped this? Didn't mean look to shock like? all seven and a half participants. I didn't really you know what, Glorious? It was dark and I'm feeling was very attacked right now. It so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denol, the caretaker. When we realized Matt There's was eight gone, people in straight here. away Denol claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies, <laughs> which is of course utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that door. Girl, if that was Matt, I'm gonna be he he would be well, paying I all do this. Hope he's enjoying himself because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes ever. <laughs> No practical practical jokes. I can't say practical. I'm like kaprakapaka kaprakapaka. Where does Mr. Delaney live? All I know is he comes at dawn and leaves at sunset. I can't fathom what he does all day, but he always seems to be puttering away at something. When he's not working, he spends most of his time down the road at the screaming banshee. Interesting. Inn. I guess yeah. Who pays him? Who pays him? <laughs> My grandfather's estate. Apparently, Ooh. Grandpapa considered Donal to be as much a part of Castle Malloy as Ooh. those moldy old tapestries you see everywhere. So Donal Delaney knows some go. shit. He Maybe he knows about something about the and fairies and car situation. And he can be quite obstinate, as you saw at the door. But <laughs> obstinate? Is that what you call it, Kyler? Is that what you call it? I can too. Grandpapa? Yeah, what the hell are you doing in what here, Kyler? What are you Kyler? doing in here, if you don't mind my asking? Reading. Your book is not even open. in a way. You see, until my grandpapa died and left me this place, not only did <laughs> I have the no idea that this telescope? castle existed, I know, but right? I had no idea my real name was not Mallory, but Malloy. Apparently, grandpapa changed his name 50 years ago, so no one would find out he was Irish. But what dif why? Why did people... Yeah, I know, like, that, that's exactly what I want to know. Why, did, why is that a big deal? Why didn't he want people to find out he was Irish? I think it had something to do with his brother, Brendan, the man who owned this place and was living here when it exploded. I was thinking World more along the lines he of, was like... He to have been a double agent, supposedly what? doing top-secret research for the Allies, what? but in truth, passing his findings onto the Axis. Girl, Not this exactly sounds... What kind of what kind of conspiracy theory stuff is the this? True. Anyway, I, ever since I found out... Grandpapa, I Kyler, so many 
many different people have populated I, 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 I got, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Tell girl, us, but... It's the Gales. It's all quite fascinating. I think that Matt is gone. I don't think your grandpapa's was, was, a, was a double agent or his brother. I think this is all just a load of hogwash, and I think you need to just come with me to the inn. We can play some darts together, drink some deuce, and we can go to bed because I think you just need to go. I think your husband, you know, he's not coming back. I think we just need to go. Have you come across any Let me just keep saving. Here that indicates whose side your great <laughs> I came as soon on? as I saw this no. was what we were playing. I love <laughs> this he one. He's perfect. As he was reputed to be. Glint I <laughs> damn, these bitches a talk chance. a lot. He's I know. The, the they'd be, uh... That. Everything that they'd be spilling the tea. Seems as if it's been tinkered with. Even his daughter's dollhouse, of all things. Okay, so apparently there's someone... Her Apparently her grandfather's brother was an inventor and that's what this house is all about when you said you sometimes hear apparently this, this big castle is just happens? one big plaything in here in the nursery sometimes outside his voice is always very muffled yeah very, but like if that's faint. the case why can't so we can hear it tell where it's coming from or what he's saying but it's matt hmm. i'm sure of it okay kyler i i i don't know has mr delaney ever heard him if he has he won't admit it he says the fairies or whoever took him. Imagine never being Mr. Imagine being Denal Delaney away, hearing so Matt screaming and being like. Back. So when I heard his voice, it dawned <sighs> The fairies got, got him now. Pranks. Like, doesn't think about him. calling the police. But Just, you know, the fairies got him now. I'll catch you later. Like, how fucked up I is that? Living with you, your dad, and Hannah. <laughs> Complete and Togo, cuts. Well, that was a Joe included. I'm feeling you very attacked. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland. I'm the one who's thrilled. <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. Bye. Ugh, this is when you wish there was like, you know, it's so funny. Like, you this is this is a situation where you wish there was more than one maid of honor. <laughs> this is, okay, that Nancy apparently thought that book seemed worthy of her attention. Constellations. Oh god. Oh god. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> That's not a puzzle I'm ready for. Um, is there anything else we can do in here? Uh, I don't. It looks like we're missing two of them. Uh, okay. Is there anything else we can do here? That fire feels really nice. I can just feel the heat of it. Whoa, that would have been quite a fall. You know, they should have made this a second chance. They should have made that a second chance. Is there an Easter egg from this? No? Okay, there's no Easter egg from this. Uh let's see, what else? Um this is useless. It's not lit. <laughs> this is useless. This is a puzzle we have to solve, though, unfortunately. Check the wall armor crest. The wall armor crest? The wall... They're right here? Is that from, uh... Is that from, um... Blackmore Manor? Okay, let's solve this puzzle... So in this puzzle, the way it works is that you can't put, Nancy for some reason can't put like bigger ones on top of smaller ones and it's kind of ridiculous because the puzzle doesn't break if you don't do it that way. I think Nancy's just being picky about like what, I think in my opinion Nancy's being picky and I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Damn, Glorious, tone it down a few notches. Like, you you, you, you beat it a little too intense over there. <laughs> I appreciate it, but girl, calm down. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, Alright. Um... This is this is stupid. Like, Nancy, just take them all out and reposition all of them. 
It's called the Tower of Hanoi, and I have a tabletop set of this puzzle. Ho quoting Laganja. Oh, I didn't know you were quoting Laganja. You see, I the only Laganja quote that I know is, I'm feeling very attacked. Um. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I got it. It's the second one, but unfortunately it has to be the third side. So, here we go again. Here it goes again. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so. Oh my god. Why? I hate puzzles. I do know my drag race. I just don't know it that well. <laughs> Probably like, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Perfect. You got one of the pieces of the pie. Good to go. Um, kind of. God, this is so frustrating. No. Okay. You kind of have to, like, juggle them. Okay, we're almost done. Almost done. Good. We got it. Oh my god! Why does it keep doing this? The game just crashed on me again, and it's gonna put me in the conversation with Kyler. Ever since I found out I'm Oh my god. Stop reading about Ireland. So many different people have populated this country at one time or another. The Celts, the Druids, the Gales. It's all quite fascinating. All these books were Brandon's? I can't be certain. <laughs> oh my god. So. This game is going to drive me crazy. Inventor. I do know that. This is going to drive me insane. It seems as if it's been tinkered with. Even his daughter's dollhouse of all things. Oh my god, the when game just crashed like again. Mad. Where are you when that happens? In this has there? never happened in before. Here, in the nursery, sometimes outside. Oh my god. This is always very muffled and very very faint. So I, can I know, Malloy is coming. just really what keep crashing saying? on me. But it's Matt, I'm and I have sure. a gaming laptop. What the hell? And you've looked all over for him? When I'm going to be reliving this conversation missing. over Searched and over everywhere. and over again. Hours. We were afraid oh my he'd gone God. wading and drowned or something. Or wandered into the bog. Or gotten lost out on the moor. But we found no footprints, no clothes. Mira, I'm going back nothing. up to read your. So when I heard his voice, it dawned on me he was playing with I'm so one pissed right now. My dad made me take an after closing order. The dude had no shame and ordered ninety-five dollars of food. Bit of a relief. Oh my god, ninety-five dollars, and it's oh, it's almost midnight. Well, Mira, I think it's in, it's earlier for you. I'm gonna go but, play detective now. The five months I spent living uh, with you, and Dad, and Hannah. And Togo, of course. In the background, all I have is Steam running, you, my game casting software, Webroot, antivirus, but I, I disabled it, and Chrome, and a few other things, but that's about it. Else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. <sighs> okay, let's save. Alright, I saved the game. Let's try this again. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. I can't believe the game crashed on me. I'm gonna save the game again at before I solve the puzzle. Cause that was fucking annoying. Like, seriously. I forgot how I did this. Um is there autosave? I wish there was autosave. No, there's no autosave. The game just keeps crashing. Okay, if at the end of the stream, which is about half, we're like, we're about halfway done with the stream tonight, I'm gonna, I'm going to reinstall the game at some point if it keeps crashing. We're gonna finish this game. I'm not giving up on it. Like, like, girl, we are, we are gonna play this all the way through. The game's gonna be like, no, let me, let me go, just let me, just let me go on my own. And I'm gonna be like, nope, mm -mm. We are gonna finish this game, I'm gonna uninstall and reinstall it if I have to. No matter how many times it takes, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, I... 
I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, so Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. I saved. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. This'll come in handy. Yes, it didn't crash on me. Meet row with the point boosts. I will categor I will categor blah, blah. I will categor what am I trying to say? I'm going to catalog those later. Thank you for the point boosts. Your team is very happy for you. Okay, I'm just gonna save every two seconds now at this point because I apparently can't walk down a hallway without the game freaking out. Candy girl with the little flex. Okay. And a hydrate from Mitra. Here's a little flex for ya. Enjoy. I'm gonna add some new channel print redemptions uh, at some point. I don't know what I'm gonna add yet, but you're gonna see some nice new redemptions soon. But uh, yeah, here's my little little flex for ya. Mm, I'm like stretching while I'm at it. Mm. Enjoy everybody. Enjoy my little flex. Thanks, Candy Girl. Um, and then to the hydration, which I'm running low. Uh, tonight's hydration from Meat is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water, infused with Crystal Light Peach Mango. Thanks again, Mitra. I appreciate it. Also, good luck on that $95 order. <laughs> I'm going to place a phone call after that. <laughs> Armor looks like it might have something. Like an Easter egg? Maybe. Wait. Wasn't this door locked originally? I remember the door being locked. Am I playing like a broken version of this game? <laughs> I could have sworn this door was locked originally. You're drinking a uh, peach, peach pear LaCroix. Ooh, yummy. That sounds delicious. Okay, can we put this back? We can. Good. 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 Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, look around in here. This fireplace has nothing on it. What a creepy room. And look at like the hole up there. Look at that hole. It's really creepy. Um, let's see. Is there anything we can do over here? Nothing. Um, otters. Coin. Save. Oh, God. It's the gay otter puzzle. And I mean gay otter because in the gay community, we call each other otters. Oh, my gosh. It's the otter puzzle. Ugh. <sighs> This puzzle is nightmare inducing. It's nightmare inducing. Where Rapunzel at? Oh my god. Okay, well, let's get this one started. This one is an annoying puzzle because it's just, it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. That looks right. <laughs> um. That looks right. Maybe the best solution in this situation is to like go around in a circle and see if that works, but I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough puzzle. Like, see, I already screwed it up because now there's no body for this one. It's just it's like, it's like cat dog. Um, okay, so I think I screwed that up already. So let's try again. Try, try again. We'll see if we can, like, go in a circle. Okay, that works. Yeah, maybe you're right, McNorthern. Uh, give the others a vodka cranberry. Yeah, just just offer them. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be like, yeah, and, and then they'd solve each other. They'd just solve the, they'd solve the puzzle themselves. Okay, so we need a head for this otter. Can we borrow this one? And then this one needs a top. <laughs> this otter needs a top. <laughs> oh, the gay jokes keep coming. They just keep coming. 
Okay, let's try that one instead then. Okay, so far... Oh my god. Okay, let's see. That won't work. That won't work. That also won't work. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay, so maybe we'll start... Maybe There's more, like, red otter heads... But there's... How many blue otter heads are there? One, two, three. There's three of them. So we'll just start with the blue otter heads and we'll start with this blue otter head. And slowly make our way around. Okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, let's change blue otter heads and try like a different one. And then... This one I haven't tried yet, but... Okay, so... Um... That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay. And then the very last blue water head is this one. Ew, the otter puzzle. I know, it's so frustrating. <sighs> okay, let's see. No... I like how, like, the whole community of Nancy Drew players, though, like, like, unanimously is like, ew, no, not this puzzle, not the otter's puzzle, anything but this one, nope, nope, oh my god, oh, this is so frustrating, Candy Girl, I love this puzzle, well, Candy Girl, isn't that because you have a copy of this puzzle, like, in real life, like, isn't this, like, don't you own this puzzle? Like, isn't that why you love this puzzle? Because you've had the time, you've had the time to practice it. Ugh. You know, I wish the game would. I wish the game would crash on me. Because <laughs> then I'd make an excuse, but I can't make any excuses. God. Darn it. Okay, let's keep trying. Only it's Celtic knots instead of otters. Aww, that's cute. That's adorable. Adorable. Okay, so this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. Um, so far it's looking good. Kinda. Mmm. Why can't otters just have the same heads? Like, why can't they just have the same heads on the same bodies? Like, why can't that be perfect? Like, why can't that just look good? Mm. Okay, that looks good. But you see, though, like, I already used... Hmm... If it crashes, then you have to tickle the otters again. Ha 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 ha. Right? Exactly. I have to tickle them otters. <sighs> I want to be a gay otter one day. Right now I'm a gay cub. <laughs> I want to be an otter, damn it. I'm tired of being a cub. <sighs> For those of you who don't know your like LGBT jargon, an otter is a skinny is a skinny guy that's hairy. A cub is a guy that has like a dad bod with a belly. That's the difference. I want to be an otter. <laughs> uh, this is so frustrating. Okay, let's see. Um, no. This does not. This puzzle does not bring joy. Ignore their in it cubs, not drugs. <laughs> Uh, this game. Okay, let's keep let's keep going. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to fill out all of them so that they all have like, yeah. You see, like they're all connected now, and then I'm gonna just try to like see if I can fix the four other ones. No, not the otters. Okay, let's see. Um. Is 
see that wouldn't not gonna work. Okay. So okay, because this doesn't work, let's try like seeing if any. If, I'm tr what I'm trying to do right now is just see how, like how compatible these pieces are. The body into body otter is super weird. I know. <laughs> it's super weird. <laughs> it's like uncomfortable to look at. Like there's like there's like where's the face? The, the but the otter bot the otter otter face face looks like it looks like funny. It reminds me of like cat dog. Um Okay, let's see. Two bottoms sometimes don't make sense. <laughs> That's funny. True words. They be true words. Okay, let's see. Okay, so green... If I can, like, get a corner done, maybe maybe that'll be, like, a good solution. So green, red, and then green... That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's also not going to work. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So we're, let's try a different body. Okay, green, blue. Okay, this, no, wait, yeah, this works. This works, this works, this works. So these are all working so far. So this whole corner looks good. Ninja Otter throwing scars. The music slaps. Yeah, it's some good music. Okay, so these four are safe, which means these five two, four, five are left. So, that looks right, this looks right. Which means these two are the only ones left. But it's still wrong because, like this is right, but this is wrong. So, Maybe we could try, and there's no other green head for the otter here, so what I could do, and there's no other red one here either, so maybe I'll try, like, something, but no, we need, we need, but the problem is that we need the other green otter head, that's the problem. Unless I try this one. But we need the blue body. So this is not gonna be, this is not gonna work. Yeah, it's not going to work, because we need the body to match. You can see, and that's not going to work. So, if... Which is weird, because these three, these four, looked good. Top left, top right swap. Hmm, I don't know if that works. Um, what I could do is I could switch... I could switch these temporarily, and then, is there a situation where there's two reds in the same card? No, there isn't. Okay. What I could do is I could change it then, just see if I can get like the top and the bottom on this side to look okay. So, um, purple matches here, but the blue doesn't match. We need a blue-red situation, which... No, that's not going to work. Is this going to work? No. Is... It's not going to work. <laughs> Embrace the otters. It's an otter orgy. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, let's see. Um... Is there a green-red situation? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. No. See, that's not going to work, though, because... We... This puzzle looks so innocuous, but it's really a tough puzzle. This is a very tough puzzle. Because of the fact of how like innocent looking it is, like you would think, you would think that because this puzzle looks like really cute, that you're, that it seems really easy, but it is not 
easy. Like this this puzzle is hard. It's <laughs> it's ridiculous. Left to move me up and down, right to circle round and round. Like it doesn't Like, everything looks good. Like, I have almost almost all of it done. This is the only one that's not right. Because I need a blue and a green. But which ones have blue and green faces? Swap top left with bottom center. Top left with bottom center. Okay... Um. Yes! Oh my god, Candy Girl, thank you so much. We got it. Let me save my game. Because God forbid the game crashes on me. Okay, we got one of the gears. Thank you, Candy Girl. <laughs> oh my god, that almost took the whole stream. Okay, let's keep looking around. Return, evil returns to the evildoer. Um, see what not, see not what you see, hear what not you hear. Did not all put these up? <laughs> what the hell is that sound? We're missing some dolls. Oh, God. These puzzles, they're not fun. These puzzles bring no joy. Why did I pick this Nancy Drew game? Please, someone tell me why I picked this. Why I decided that Haunting of Castle Malloy would be a good Nancy Drew game to play. Please, someone tell me. Le Lapin. Le Lapin Blue. Is there a second chance from this? That's just a little too far to jump. Okay, Nancy's gonna turn into Laura Croft. <laughs> Nancy just died. You didn't break your neck when you fell through that hole in the, in the stairs. The bad news, you broke pretty much everything else. Can you say traction? Damn. That's a scary I thought. I don't think I can <laughs> I don't think I can jump that far. <laughs> All right, let's go down the stairs since we don't want to die this time. All right, well, here's the Castle Malloy, and as you can see here, it's beautiful. We got the fireplace, and how the hell is this place ready for a wedding? Like, the wedding's in, like, two days. Well, here's our boyfriend, Kit. Let's go introduce ourselves to our boy new, boy new boyfriend. Hi, you must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley. Ignore eye. the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. Walked into I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. A door. Did the door have a handle, like, you know, the si the height of your high of your eye? Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend, like, like, girl, what the hell? That, that, is, that is not what happened. <laughs> uh. I was going to say the same about you. Nancy can't I'm jump. About to leave I wish by we could see Kit's face a bit Until closer. To senses, Me too. Me too. What do you mean, comes to her senses? Matt isn't playing Green a point boost joke. from Godric. He hasn't been kidnapped by fairies. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. You see, Kit is playing smart. He's he's smart. He's like, you know what? Matt is not coming back because he's, you know, he's got cold feet. Have you told Kyler? No, I haven't got the heart. Or the gut. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Can Kit Venmo her monies for the car insurance claim? Hi, I am hi. sorry, everybody. I am so sorry that this is happening. I This has never happened before. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we got a third. We got a third car insurance claim. I forgot to call Verizon, but 
Hi, Verizon, does, you know, does the insurance on my phone cover a banshee going through a car and breaking my phone? Oh, it doesn't? And how much will it cost to replace my Nokia? Yes, the Nokia phone that I have broke. Yes, I know Nokia phones are known to not break. I, I can show, I can send a picture of the phone through my boyfriend Kit's phone. Yes, it broke. It doesn't work at all. I tried turning it on and off again. Oh, it'll cost $600 to replace the Nokia. Okay, okay. Great, well, it'll cost me 600 now for the new phone. It's gonna cost me 1200 for the, you know, insurance claim. <laughs> Nancy's like, this is the most expensive wedding I've ever been to. <laughs> I'm gonna be paying two, almost $2,000. Um, you know, it cost me 2000 for the plane ticket here. And, you know, now it's gonna cost me another 2000 you know, to leave, <laughs> to leave here. <laughs> what the hell? I, I came here to have fun, not to solve a mystery and to deal with State Farm, Geico, Verizon. <laughs> I want to go home. Hi, you must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley. I know ignore you. The I know you. you. I know to ignore the eye. Day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. You know what? You know what, Kit? I... I can't do this. I, I know. I already met you. I'm in, in, another, in a previous timeline. I met you already. Ah, you're my boyfriend. Let's just talk about this already. I'm not sure I fully understand the circumstances yet. That's because you've only heard Kyler's version of what's going on. Or worse, that Daffy Caretaker's version. Either way, McDonald's. It's you've heard the truth. <laughs> the truth that being... wants the Big Mac. Matt isn't playing a practical joke. And he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies. He Let's go back in time and see if we can that. change history. Are you, sure? Are you sure? Well, Matt didn't come out. And I'm tell Kit me the Banshee. Hey, McDonald's. <laughs> That's what I, I say. I like it. <laughs> I mean, he loves when I go meet him, I'm gonna be like, "Hi, McDonald's. Can... I hear He's you don't like Irish, but do you like American? So it scares him. Do you like she burgers? Daffy caretaker. <laughs> He's not so sure. So he bailed. He loves Kyler, but she could be a handful, and she's no pushover either. Their relationship is so temp. What what does tempestuous mean? Can someone tell me what tempestuous means? Kit strikes me as the kind of person that says big words because he know because he can. Nancy's like, you know, I don't know what tempestuous means, but can you use some smaller words, please? I, I really don't know what tempestuous means. Um, it scares him. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine, but he's not so sure, so he bailed. Damn. It sounds like Matt just isn't, you know, the monogamous relationship type. Lady D is tempestuous. But what does it mean? I don't know what it means. Without saying anything to her? I mean, it's a real shitty thing to do to leave your partner without giving any of them any reason why or to just block out all communication. Believe me, I have personal experience with that one. Um, uh, at least communicate with your partner before you decide to fucking leave them. And you should still be communicating with them afterwards. You know, be a human being, Matt and Kit and Kyler. I don't think the possibility that he walked out on They have Supermax in regular. Ireland, which is like a local version She's of McDonald's. She's in a state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much. Way yeah, too the game is making it look like, uh, the game is making it look like that they're in a state that that Kyler is in just total complete denial right now which by the way I've been in that state of mind so I can understand why Kyler is feeling that way like to to go through a breakup and just like your your mental capacity is just complete denial like you don't see anything else you are you feel that you're still in the relationship with someone even after being broken it's like just just complete denial it's it's such a weird state of mind to be in how come you sound so American? McDonald's. <laughs> hi, Auto Wheelbot Jack. Autobot Wheeljack. Hi, I saw you were hosting. Thank you. 15 years ago. 
I've pretty much lived there ever since. I just can't seem to pick up the accent. He is American. My father's VP of International Services Incorporated. Oh, my father is VP of International Sales for Kroemeister Incorporated. Damn, our boyfriend Kit is—he's got connections. His father is the VP of International Sales. Damn. All right, I'll call you Otto. How's it going, Otto? Okay, let's see. It looks like you're drawing something. Are you an I'm artist? I'm going to save just in case Me? because this game crashed Not like hardly. eight times already. I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Ooh, can you sketch, you know, just kill me? Can you make me look like your beautiful sketches? Residential, <laughs> real estate, or commercial? Mostly residential. And let Kid me is a tell trust you, fund we baby. have a field day with attractive land like the one this castle I guess sits so. on. Ocean view, easy commute to Donegal, bedrock foundation, readily accessible groundwater. That bog's a bit problematic, but... A little sand, a little gravel. Now a there's the sugar daddy, Voila. right? A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. So Kit is basically like redrawing the castle as if it were like a resort. Um. When or how did you realize that Matt had disappeared? Forgot Harlan is fun. Kyler forget Harlan is fun <laughs> passes. Back, the next thing I knew, <laughs> Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. Kyler and I went for a walk, came back, and the next thing I knew, Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. Well, that's an interesting alibi. Where did you last see him? In the nur Crash. <laughs> nursery. He always seemed to be in the nursery fiddling with things. Whenever I'd tease him about it, he'd always give me this impish little grin like he was up to something. Ooh. When I checked the nursery and saw that Matt's suitcase and backpack were gone, it finally dawned on me that he had left and he wasn't coming back. Of course, by that time, Kyler had convinced herself that he was simply playing one of his practical jokes, and I couldn't bring myself to burst her bubble, so I didn't. Good talking to you. See ya. Interesting. We got ourselves a very interesting case. I can't case just go scoring. snooping around, not with <laughs> Kit right there. Imagine if, like, you open Kit's bag and you just find out that, like, the plot twist is that Kit's gay and that, you know, it's not, it's not a love triangle anymore. It's, you know, it's just something crazy. Um, this, this castle is in no shape for a wedding, seriously. Madame Isabel, three euros. And then there's like I a printer. I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. I guess there's a printer now. It's Love Angles. Alright, let's go outside and hope and pray my game doesn't crash on me. <laughs> Where are those lights in the tower coming from? Nancy's like... Someone's either doing something kinky up there, or maybe someone's watching a movie on Netflix, or they're binging a show. Hey, let me up there. <laughs> let me in. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave. I'd love to have a wedding in that castle. Yeah, it would be nice, Otto. It would be cool. I mean, they need to do some renovation work on it. I mean, there's no bathrooms. I mean, <laughs> I like how Nancy feels so comfortable walking around in the dead of night. Like, just, you know, just, I'm gonna go look around in this scary castle. Wonder what that crow's doing in there. And it keeps going back and forth. <laughs> oh! That scared me. Did, did Nancy freak out? Was, Nancy, was that Nancy making the noise, or was it the crow that made the noise? <laughs> Uh, was that Nancy? They went, ah! <laughs> this is an interesting puzzle. Yeah, I'm not sure how to proceed with this one. Meet Ra, going home. Meet Ra, yay! Good, Meet Ra. I'm glad you're going home. I, Kyler, choose you, Matt, as my... Friend, companion, love through life's trials and celebrations. Wait, through life's trials and will travel celebrations? The road of life together, united in heart and mind from the first. You have a gift, true, I've never known, and one mat 
I will treasure always with this ring. I give you all my love, my heart, my soul. What am I doing? This is wrong. With a bunch of exclamation points. Wow. Hey, Dex. Hope you're having a good night. The crows have eyes. His Nancy's eyes three. Yeah, right? Um, how's it going, Dex? So it looks like Kyler was also having second thoughts about the wedding. Wow. I wonder if people go through that, like, when they are getting married, if they, like, have second thoughts about it. It's inter so interesting. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We're starting a new Nancy Drew mystery. It's, uh, The Haunting of Castle Malloy. Uh, the mystery is about Nancy as a maid of honor, and, uh, she makes her way to Ireland, and on the way to... <gasps> Oh my god, we just died. Um, on the way to the manor, or the castle, I should say, we uh, got into a car accident because some strange banshee like jumped in front of the car and then ran away. And um, we called Geico and they didn't cover it. So now we have to pay, you know, $800 to fix the car. And, you know... Apparently, we called Verizon because our phone broke, and they're calling. They're charging us six hundred. So now we have to pay upwards of eighteen hundred dollars for this insurance claim. That apparently banshees aren't covered. So we went to the castle and we told everybody what happened, and no one wants to pay for it. And it turns out the groom is also missing. So we have to figure out how to <laughs> boat insurance. We have to figure out what happened to the groom because the groom went missing. And uh, we have to contact the groom because he's going to pay for this. You know, we're the maid of honor. The groom's going to use his credit card to pay for Nancy's car and her cell phone for getting thrown into a ditch. And the insurance won't cover it. <laughs> the insurance doesn't cover banshees. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is this? Creepy. But hope you're having a good night, uh, Dex. <laughs> That's not how you cliff dive. I know, right? Oh, hopefully the game doesn't crash on me. This game's crashed on me multiple times. OMG, let's pull a Lance. <laughs> Come in, insurance frog. Thanks for the catch up. You're right. No problem. Um, Let's see. Can we go anywhere else over here? I could have sworn we could have gone somewhere else. Um, right now we're just walking around in the dead of night in this mysterious property that's just covered in grass and shrubbery. Nancy's probably getting, like, Nancy's probably trudging through it and she's like, oh my god, there's mosquitoes like crazy out here. I don't know where the hell I'm going. This is creepy as hell. <sighs> the things I'm doing for this woman, for this as a maid of honor, what the hell am I doing? All right, let's go ahead and make our way back to, you know, meet your redeemed Italian hands. Nancy's like, what am I doing? We're going to go to the inn. We're going to the inn. By the way, I just want to put it out there and say that in Silent Spy, this inn you see here is the dark version of the inn. But in Silent Spy, you see a daytime version of the inn. And they use the same building in Silent Spy as they did in Haunting of Castle Malloy. Her interactive got a little too smart because it, I don't know. De definitely check it out. So we can go in here and we can actually call people, but we're going to hold off on the calls for now. Screaming Banshee in. No vacancy. So I guess we can't sleep here. But uh, yeah, here we can, you know, the, Mr. McDonnell is here. And uh, if you walk around, uh, here's some like little like uh, Phantom of Venice references. <laughs> it's so funny when they put like real people in their games. We can also play darts. I don't. We have any, we have no money though. Does the coin return have something? Oh, the coin return has something, so we can actually play darts now. Um, let's go ahead and play some darts. Yay! Okay. <sighs> Cool. That, this is the most number of bullseyes I've ever gotten in my entire life. Okay, we just need one. Sweet. Wait, bust? Bust? Wait, what? I thought you had to get zero. Wait, don't you have to get zero? What am 
59. 9. Where's 9? Where's 9? Where's 9? Where's 9? Why is it saying bust? Do you have to get one? Did I not read the rules? Countdown must be exactly zero after all darts have been launched. <gasps> oh, I can't read. Forty nine. Thirty nine. Twenty nine. Okay, nine. Where's nine? Where's nine? Where's nine? Okay, we won. Ooh, we got a we got a new doll. Well, that's cool. <laughs> we got ourselves a doll. Doll top whistle ball. That's cool. Different detective. Let's play. One credit. Oh, I suck at this game. Oh my god. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's see. The earth looks different. Um The stars the star here looks different. Uh there's twelve differences? Oh my god. Um this one. Tell me in the chat if, if I miss one. You're welcome to backseat game. Um, uh, uh, salad bowl? Let's see. Thank you. Um, no, the crater! Yeah, I was gonna say, there's two left. Um, let me know if I miss one. Red line in the back of the trailer. Oh, thank you. Okay, one more. Just one more. Um, the chef hat. The. Oh, we got it. We won. Okay. Yay! We got a flute. Cool. We got ourselves a little flute. Wait, is it in our inventory? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I just want to go up to all the characters in the game and just start doing that. <laughs> hey, Mr. D Mr. McDonald. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. <laughs> just imagine going up to Mr. McDonald and just be like... Mr. McDonald's like, Stay hey, stop that. Who's playing that? I'm going to just go into every... I'm going to go to up to every character in the game now and just do that. <laughs> Mr. McDonald, look! <laughs> We're making him up. He's, like, trying to fall asleep. <laughs> if you time it right, too, it looks like you're easy getting ready to go... No, watch. Like, he's getting ready to sleep, and then it's just like... Or, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to do it right, but, it, like, he just... <laughs> I feel like you could time it perfectly. <laughs> you can't stay here, Nancy. <laughs> You're gonna banish the snakes of Ireland with that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Nancy's gonna. <laughs> Denal's gonna hate us. He's gonna hate us. By the way, if you look over here, you can see like silhouettes of characters talking to each other and i think it's really cool that there actually is people in the bar in this restaurant in this in this inn you can see people talking and eating here which i think is really cool um all right so, you're not i'm gonna save the game so keen on staying at the castle after all then. no we're just gonna annoy the hell out of you with this whistle for not letting us in the castle originally i'm staying there i just wanted to talk to you Come to me for a bit of aid and <laughs> advice, did you? Well, I've got none to give. Not till I got the day's troubles behind me and a crow's nest oh, in front God, of me. Oh, God, he wants us to bartend. <laughs> huh? Huh? The mixed maid suddenly took <laughs> it and too. even poor huh? Seamus on his Excuse own. Excuse me? Back and forth, I'm feeling very attacked. I heard soon as I walked in, yet here I sit, dying of thirst. <laughs> I'll do no talking till I get me crow's nest, and there's the sun. I like how the, the game is like... But now, Serving juice. Some spry and spunky lass to lend poor Seamus a hand by taking Who are you, no you calling spry and spunky? 
Excuse me? <laughs> Maybe, but I don't feel like playing mix made right now. I'll see to it you get your <laughs> Nancy's just like whatever. no. ASAP. No, thank you. That does not bring Gonna joy. Play mix made for a while, are you? Yes. Well, here's what you're yes. to do. I'll take the orders and put the tickets up here. Each mm. ticket will have no more God. than two drinks on it. And to save time, I draw little pictures instead of writing out their names. The mix in book Why? Will tell you which Just write the names. For what drink. It'll also tell you what's in each drink. Is this Sunny Jew in, in disguise? Drink. Now, to pour something, put the silver mix in glass under either the juice tap or the beer tap. Then press whatever button the mix in book tells you to press. Tells you to press. The book will also tell you how many times to press times it. Times to press it. If the drink needs blending, You'll see a picture of a blender at the top of the column. A blender. Book. You're to put the solid ingredients into the blender first, then pour whatever's in the mixing glass into the blender. Then <sighs> press the red button, and when the blender is the red gone, button, just reach the blue the button, counter and find the serving glass that's pictured in the book. Put the serving glass on the gray mat and pour everything from Save the blender into the serving glass. Save so you don't have to glass. listen to this if guy again. I trust me, blending, I will. Just find the right serving glass. <laughs> Put it on the gray mat and pour everything you've poured into oh the mixing God. glass into the serving glass. Then add anything 15 else electrifying drinks that you can make in 30 seconds. Put the tray to the right of the ticket it goes to and start fixing the next drink. Soon as you've made all the drinks on a ticket, ring the bell and I'll serve them up. Just remember, if the orders start coming thick and fast and the tickets start piling up, you're to make the drinks on the ticket closest to the bell first. Now you'll be making no mistakes, I'm sure. But if you do, <laughs> you'll be just making toss no the mistakes. Into the rubbish bin down there to the right and start over. Mind you, lass, you must do the mixing fast and proper. The quicker you mix, you know the more tips he takes each keeping. pills directly to from the whiskey know. bottle. <laughs> I know, right? Probably does. All right, I saved it. So if you click the name of the picture, you don't have to scroll through it. You can just click it. Okay, so a martini glass. Um, let's see. We need strawberries, oranges, lemon, tomato, and then let's go ahead and throw that in. And then some ice, and then we'll blend it. I know. The Irish pub selling juice. <laughs> uh, I think this is what. And then um, one tomato. Wait. One tomato. One, two, three, four. Orange. And then one beans. Uh, just serve with ice and lime. Um... That order wasn't right. What? Okay, let's see. Tomato. And then we put it in with the ice. And a lime. Next we have two of the bubbles. One lemon, two orange. Throw some ice in it. Okay. This one this one just wants a beer. I mean there's I mean there is like brews, I guess. Like that's a beer, right? Right? Is that a tomato? Is it a tomato? It looks like a tomato to me. And then we have that. You do fine you do All fine dust it, are ya? Thank you, miss. <laughs> Take what's in the tip jar. And the next time you help you out, got you can euros. keep the tips then as well. <laughs> we only need 2,000 more. You make a mean cruise nest, girl. Well done. No, it's a tomato. It's a tomato. To it probably is pomegranate. I'm but... sorry. <laughs> the what? The Sasquatch. The Sasquatch. The one Tyler was supposed to be marrying. Well, what happened to him is this. The she took him. The sheed. The good people. The sheed. Him straight off to their world, they did. By the good people, you mean fairies? No, You're no, 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 Nancy. Geico. <laughs> Geico Auto Insurance. And with them, the good the Geico insurance. took them. So that's what I the Gecko? No, no, the insurance company. 
<laughs> what about the beans? I guess people like beans flavored juice. I mean, come on. Just what are these good people? Just what is the Geico going to do with them? Just what are these good people? Going raspberries? To do with them? Raspberries. He's in there. Let's see a Pandora well, box from Drag Race. Raspberries. That's as much of the truth as will Raspberries. <laughs> Tis not the first time the good people have seen fish to meddle in the affairs of Casa Malloy. Denals believes in fairies, but not home auto insurance bundles. <laughs> and extended car warranties. The man who lived there in 1944, <laughs> Brendan Malloy was his name. He was a scientist, charged with making rocket fuel. Shamrock Savers Insurance Only Company, right? Night, I love all white and white on white racism, but the hatred that, that Irish have for the English is truly special. Sent everything south of the is that is that real? Like, is that truly a Brendan, real thing? His wife, Caitlin, used to own this place. She did. So the game right. actually was histor girl, like historically female. correct when they were making fun of it, or then they make fun of like actually going about it with it. Like, I didn't know that. But the blame lay not with Malloy. That is interesting. They'd taken a shine to Fiona, his way, and they knew that <gasps> Fiona girls, from Shrek. No matter how much they're adored by wee folk or mortals, sooner or late. I'm saving just in case. Sure. All little girls grow up and grow old. The good people couldn't bear to see this happen to their beloved Fiona, so they made full sure it never did. Sounds to me like the good people are actually just the opposite. No, 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 we say they are the good people. That's no, they the are good. Shh, yes, yes, don't Got listen to her. For you, <laughs> the fairies? Uh, the Geico the people. people, the Geico. <laughs> what makes you say that? I meant to pocket your car keys for safekeeping on my way over here, but I couldn't find them. We've been trying to you contact you about your car's extended banshee car? insurance, right? <laughs> That's exactly my meaning. Taken they were. The good people want you to be staying. You see, Geico took the car keys. They're like, you know what? <laughs> Geico took him. You know, they're keeping Nancy hostage now. <laughs> they made her pay $2,000. <sighs> the name of this place. The name of this place. Just what exactly is a banshee? A woman, one of the good people, as alive as you and me, with wild hair almost as long as the tattered grey robe billowing up around Jeez. her whenever she appears. Sometimes she takes on the form of a hooded crow, but it's the sound she makes, her terrible wailing, Scary. that strikes fear in the human heart. Because when a mortal hears the wail of a banshee, it means someone is about to die. Ooh. Do you dislike all Englishmen as much as you dislike Ooh. Matt Simmons? Or is he special somehow? I've little use for any Sasnach. For any Sasquatch. But I took a dislike into this one soon as I laid eyes on him. Arrogant he was. Cocky. Disrespectful. <laughs> foolish. Always touching things he shouldn't. <laughs> going places he didn't belong. Kept calling Worse me McDonald's. Than a stray dog, that one was. <laughs> a stray dog. <laughs> what, about, what, about, what about our boyfriend Kit? What about his friend Kit? I. And I'm saving. Okay. He may talk like a yank. And Worse than a stray like a dog. Bird, a burn. It's, it was, it was a reed. It right it's thrown shade. Little wonder he's in love with the girl. They'll make a fine pair. Oh well, my God. He's not in love with Kyler. Blind, are you now? Loves her. Kid is my boyfriend. Hate. What are you talking about? What the hell are you talking he came about? He to the wedding early to make sure there'd never be a wedding. Only the good people saw to that for him. Ah, the luck of the Irish. <laughs> I'm gonna auto. I'm gonna get all my slides from Venice and throw them at home, Geico. <laughs> you know, you could do too. You could grab Double Bubs's slides from her uh, from her trading cards. Cause I have two of them. Just be like Geico, Geico, Geico. <laughs> Just throw them at Geico. <laughs> yeah, Nancy's like, wait, 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 wait. I thought that Kit was our boyfriend. I came to this wedding early, and I have a two thousand dollar debt now to Geico. And you're saying that Kit is in love with Kyler? Excuse me. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I saw someone with long hair and a gray robe outside the castle tonight. Did you know? She it. Ran across the road she, in front of me. I and don't know the pronouns, but something. Not till some I was they. <laughs> far did I see a banshee. 
to see one at your age on your very first night in Ireland. <laughs> Say 15% or more on your new boyfriend <laughs> was a lie. <laughs> oh, man. We're getting gas. Oh, he did see a banshee. At least he's confirming us with us. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like in Shadow at the Water's Edge where the grandma was like, no, 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 you didn't see that. The ghost walks in front of the wind, in front of the door and you can see it perfectly. And Nancy could see it perfectly. And the grandma's like, no, no, that was just a shadow. Nancy's like, um, no, that was a ghost. At least Denal McDonald is over here is like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's a banshee. At least now, at least they're not, not being gaslit. <laughs> Do banshees ever leave things behind, like say, like say, um, do not be mistaken, banshees for Santa car insurance Claus warranties, now. car claims, <laughs> about something, something to do with cars. Be <laughs> I've been seeing, you know, lizards all around the property. Is it? Is this Geico? <laughs> Guess I'll go now. <laughs> Good night to you. Good night to you. Okay, well. This has been fun, but I think I'm going to end the stream here at the end for tonight. Um, since I just, uh, yeah, it, this has been fun. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who's been on the stream tonight watching me play Nancy Drew, Haunting of Castle Malloy. Uh, this has been quite, quite the interesting case. Thanks for streaming. Sorry for all the crashes. Oh, thanks, Des. I really appreciate Still that. Thank you that. for uh, staying Can't here. Nancy has got herself Still quite the that. interesting conundrum she's Still in now with, uh, you know, being Still the maid of honor that. and, you know, having Did to call, that. like, you know, Geico Check. and Verizon. Check. Did and that. Nancy's got a lot to deal with right now with all of her interesting situations here. Um, before I go, though, I'm going to get ready to raid someone, so just sit tight for a moment while I get my raid set up. And I was having issues with this game earlier today. Um, let's see, so who's online? Um, Monster Prom is actually a really fun game. Okay, so before I go, um, I just want to thank you all so much for being here. This has been so much fun. I am enjoying playing Nancy Drew with Haunting of Castle Malloy. This game's a blast to play. Um, once again, I'm the Italian Gamer Joe, and please feel free to give my uh, Twitch stream a follow if you haven't done so already. Also, tune into the Discord community. I'm, I'll be tallying up all the Hunger Games points, so feel free to check that out as well. Um, can I get a link to join your Discord? Yes, you can, Otto. I'm going to go ahead and type it in now. Um, here's the link. Check out my Discord community. Uh, it's a very inclusive, fun place. Um, I opened up a new channel today called the Motivation Channel. So uh, if you join my Discord community, um, the Motivation Channel is a place where, let's say, for example, you're just not feeling motivated and you're like, oh, I don't want to do the dishes right now or I don't want to work out or I don't want to diet today. Um, it's a place in my Discord community where you can just kind of help other people and be like, no, <laughs> go do it. I think some of the best way to be motivated is to be able to like use other people for help or have your friends or family or even people in my community. Uh, so if you need some motive, extra motivation for your day or you need some positivity, um, feel free to join my Discord community. And I don't know, help, help, we'll help you. Help us help, us help you. Um, we also have Sea of Thieves. Uh, I opened up a Sea of Thieves voice channel and a community channel. So I'll be playing Sea of Thieves tomorrow night. Feel free to join on in. I can help you uh, if you want to join my crew. Um, we have a lot of fun stuff going on. I'm really, really excited. Uh, we got all, so we have all those fun things. Um, we have a fitness group with Stride Kick. We have a book club that's a little behind right now, but we're catching up with it. Um, let's see. I played the other day for the first time. That's awesome, Dex. I'm glad. It's very funny to learn more. Do the Maiden's Voyage. Do the tutorial mission on the Maiden's Voyage. I'm gonna post a walkthrough um, of Sea of Thieves so you guys can get like help on it. But Dex, if you want to join the stream with me, either on or off stream, to help you, um, feel free to let me know. I, I can help you with the game. Uh, and that's anybody else in the community. Like Candy Girl, you're a professional. You're a professional Sea of Thieves player at this point. If you're still here, um, anybody reach out to Candy Girl for help. She can. She's like an expert Sea of Thieves uh, pirate right now. Uh, Meet Rep plays as well. Um, I think um, Yugi Bear Cub in the Discord plays. Quite a few people actually in the community are playing. So um, definitely check out um, my Sea of Thieves community and feel free to like, you know, ask us for help or questions. Um, we are, we are, my Discord community is transforming into like a Sea of Thieves community. And it's so cool because 
Sea of Thieves is just like Nancy Drew. It's the kind of game that, um, it's it's a first person game. It's not point and click, but it's a first person game, and the game is all about puzzle solving. Rather, it's finding somewhere to go next or solving a puzzle. Um, so I def if you like Nancy Drew, <laughs> Mira, I don't know what I'm doing 90% of the time. If you like Nancy Drew, check out Sea of Thieves because the game takes up like the combat, all that stuff takes a backseat, and the game focuses more on treasure hunting, solving puzzles, reading actual like in-game books to find out where the next where the treasure is. Combat is very simple. You either have a sword or a gun, and um, the game is just the game makes it really, really easy to get into it. And um, even if you just play the Maiden's Voyage, which is like the tutorial, I mean, you'll get a really good experience out of it. And um, we are a huge com inclusive community at Sea of Thieves, so feel free to join in. We'll help you. Um, we're we're all about getting the commendations and completing the story mode and all that stuff. So definitely check it out. It's a blast to play. We as a community are having so much fun with it. Come join us. If you ever have fear of missing out, don't be that way. Um, come check it out. Uh, if you don't have the game, it's an extra. It's a Microsoft exclusive for PC and Xbox. Uh, you can also buy it on Steam for forty dollars. Or right now, I think it's on sale for twenty six dollars. It's fifty percent off because of the Steam summer sales. If you have an Xbox. Um, you can also, I know, right, Mira, we were trying to reclaim the rainbow flag for the gays. I know, exactly. Um, in Sea of Thieves, apparently trolls are taking the LGBT pride flag and they are pretending to be LGBT and they're sailing and killing people pretending they're trolls. Like it's, it's really ridiculous. So Mira is saying that we're reclaiming the rainbow flag. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, no, see if these is so much fun. If you have Xbox uh, live or Xbox game pass, it's free with game pass, um, which is a great deal. I mean, see if thieves has a ridiculous amount of content in it. Um, they also just released a Disney's pirates of the Caribbean campaign mode, which includes five chapters and it's cinematic it's like watching the disney ride it's so much fun i highly highly recommend you all check it out it's really cool i'll be streaming it tomorrow night uh the second chapter um so definitely come check it out um and yeah i i do have some more goodies for the community coming soon like more um italian gamer joe's hunger games content uh my podcast and a few other community things so stay tuned for that we're i'm a growing stream i'm a growing community um we're actually about to hit 200 followers soon so if you want to recommend me and my content to any other mystery fans out there please send them a link to my discord and have them check it out um i stream my schedule might change but i typically stream every day every other day depending on like you know how things are going but yeah i mean thank you everybody so much for supporting the community for being here i love streaming nancy drew i love streaming sea of thieves um my this community isn't just me it's all of you as well thank you everybody for being here and being such an inclusive supportive place i love being able to be a part of this community with you all and just having a great time together thank you all so much Mwah. seriously thank you um i have we're growing and we have so many awesome con we have so much i've, I've lots of goodies planned um, I even have my game that's still in development, my vacation pixel paradise, which is based a lot on Nancy drew. So that my game development is making a lot of progress. Um, so yeah, definitely. Um, thanks for being here. I'm going to go ahead and end stream for tonight. Um, and this is a part one of the haunting of castle Malloy, Nancy drew the haunting of castle Malloy and the insurance claim is over for now. Um, you'll be seeing it again on Wednesday night. So tune in Wednesday for the next part of Nancy drew. Uh, haunting of Castle Malloy. I'm gonna go ahead and raid someone now. So right now, um, Mike Cheb, uh, he I think he actually works at Twitch and he's streaming Monster Prom. So I think I'm gonna raid him. And uh, yeah, enjoy this game. It's a really cool like LGBT friendly game. Check it out. I'm gonna raid him now. Um, hope you all have a great evening, everybody. That's still here. And uh, check out the Discord community uh, for more time to hang out with me. Um, I'm waiting for the raid to pop up. Did it pop up yet? I'm just checking. Did my raid work yet? Raid channel. Start raid. Okay, I don't know if my raid worked. Let me try to get... Let me refresh my screen for a second. You can probably all see my screen. Um, raid channel. Okay, let's try it again. Action did not work. 
All right, let's try it again. Maybe it's already working. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's still not. Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's going to raid. Okay, perfect. Good night, everybody. See you all next time. Mwah.